Hey, what's up, guys? Um, you saw my other video before. I got the boxes made in the garage. Um, what we ended up putting in them are these DCM loudspeakers that I recently got. I have a total of four of them up here. Actually, I actually have three up here. Another set is in this box right down. It's actually in this box down here. And um, I got a uh, four mids I'm going. Two are going in the box in with the DCMs. And two more are going to be going in the box that I have. These vintage pioneers in. These pioneers. Now these pioneers. Like, you know, like I picked them up for picked them up for twenty bucks for a whole entire set of them. And they came with two woofers in each of them. They're, they're paper cones with a um, paper surround also. So I mean, not, but they're they handle 150 watts, you know. So I got four. I got four of them under here. Now the tweeters for my DCMs. I'm gonna be using these tweeter horns that I've had laying around that I figured why not put them in and for the pioneers I'm going to use this stock the stock tweeters that came out of them like these things can these things, those things sound those things still sound good now the reason why I'm not using the mids out of it here's one mid then here's the other mid this mid is smaller than this than the one here the only other issue I have is that the mid on one of these my cone is my cone is completely come apart from there when I got it when I pick it out of the box. Now the other one I had almost the same exact issue except there was a hole in the side of one, a hole in the side in the cone here. So I ended up cutting the whole entire cone out. I'm gonna try to take that voice cord out of there, or maybe recone it with something different. Make it not make it sound really good. Now, cross, now, I'm not talking about for uh, crossovers now. For the DC, for the DCMs up here, I'm going with the stock crossover that came. With, I'm going with the stock crossover that came with them. Now, all these, I already have all the set points for it for the uh, woofers in the mids. For the pioneers, I'm going with my uh, my Audio Pipe CRX 303s that I have in these in these speak in the speaker here. I had another one sitting over here, but I already took it apart and took all the components out of it. Uh, because the original crossovers that came with those are really small and they're, sh they're shitty. So, um, and this was a port coming out that came out of one of the uh, Pioneer boxes. I got a second port down here. Yeah, a second port down here. Um, I'm gonna go, I'll use those two ports. On my DCMs, which I have them, the ports on the back on the back ends of them, and with all this, I plan on running them off this this Kenwood uh, K8 K888 head unit, which K88 head unit here, which has holy uh, has the own equalizers on it. Um, it puts out good power. It'll put on, it'll put out plenty of power for the pioneers. DCMs are probably gonna be one star for power on it. So I'm looking for another um, receiver that can put out the put out the amount of power that I need for the DCMs. And when I get them painted, I'm gonna primer it up and have the gloss black on them and the black, flat black on them this time. I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put one sticker here for pioneer. And then another one here for the DCMs. Now both these are um, gold colored stickers that will try to match the original logos as much as possible. So I mean, and those weren't the cheapest things in the world either. <laughs> They're 35 bucks for two of the Pioneers. And two DCM stickers, so I mean they're not cheap, but um, these Rindle speakers came out of DCMs and they're they're not bad. Just I want something that you need to have something that can handle that handles more power out of it. That will give me more more uh, sound reproduction from it. 
of these tweeter horns here also that I actually had in a box before. They sound good too. I, mean, I might find something to do with those. I'm gonna end up doing in the what well, I'm gonna end up doing in the long run is I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my old take my old DHE power cruiser here. DHE NTX sixty fifteen. 15 inch woofer, about 350 RMS, 700 max on it. Nice, nice polypropylene cone with a rubber surround on it. And the handle hurts anywhere between 32 and 800 hertz. So, what I'm looking at, I'll make a ported box for it. That coming from a coming from a receiver. But I'm getting, I'm gonna, I'm planning on getting an external. Uh, I'm gonna plan on getting a. Um, power amplifier for it too and what I'm going to try to do is put that in a nice sealed nice ported box and have that 800 hertz low pass cross, uh, crossover in it now this is off of Parse Express and it's only $8.82 for it can't beat that kind of price for it and that's only then what I'm going to do I'm going to figure out a way to mount that in the box also simply solder all connections Make it look really nice, and it's gonna sound even better. So keep uh, I'll keep all updated on everything, and um, you know, subscribe to me. Got any questions? Shoot them up on shoot them up on comments, or ask them. I'll answer them the best I can. Peace out, guys.